Hey guys, welcome back to the Dion Gaming channel. The Emmy Money Wins video is right here. It's very old. I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna post it. It's just I can't at the moment. Um, but what we are gonna be talking about today is the BG10, the last map. I already did two. Um, no replay was able to be to found because when I actually lost it, I save save replay and it did not save for me. But anyway, I was able to finish it with the um, Giant Word. It was all it was all mash up deck. I mean, it has red, two shadow, and one green. So with with that right there, I, I had equilibrium. I had all the heal, had all reduction. I had um, uh, you can actually have green piece in here, and uh, when they, when you can do it like right now, like you can do green piece now, and as soon as you're about to hit another like monster ahead of you, like about five feet or ten feet ahead of you, they come out of green piece with 50% more damage and hit more. I had everything that I needed in here. It was goddamn freaking easy. And these guys, the Overlord. They, they almost like didn't even need to heal everything that dies there quickly they just heal by that and also at the same time if I wanted to I can click on the five and all the overlord will heal everybody around it around the radius by a thousand and so on so it was it was goddamn easy to actually do this so we're actually going to be going with the 10 you still cannot finish it Emma is working on it I actually just show him I was ordering all this just in case I can't save the replay but I was able to it worked but just in case I was actually showing him step by step everything that I was doing um, we got to the point that I sent everything to search and destroy and there was nothing we can still can't finish it but it's still a goddamn fun map that Emma made um, part one part two part three and this is actually going to be part three however there was a position three which I had a little trouble because if I actually go right here um, they were already there and I feel this is a bug. I definitely feel this is a bug, and I'm gonna report it to Cubic, and then I'm going to see why uh, why it does that. Um, I feel it's a bug. I do not know it's a bug, but I feel it's a bug. And the only reason I'm actually saying that is because um, when I start the map, I'm already getting hit, and then my well is gonna die. And then I'm also getting hit, if, if you look over here, and I'm not even summoning anything on the next game, and I'm seeing the Lost Hole hitting me with something hitting all, everything here in AoE, then it's pretty much these. However, when I start the map, um, it's not like that in, in another position, and then I notice they're not in that same position when, when without starting in, in map 3. And I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. Um, so in here, it's 4, and I was able to actually quit, uh, do it. But let me actually jump into one of the videos called BG9 and BG10. Um, one of it, which is right here, and I'm actually going to make this uh, times 2. Shut this off. And then look over here. It starts with a turret, and this is not bad. I mean, I didn't know that I could just go down real quickly and just, you know, claim these or anything like that. And then it wasn't so bad, the, the mob. But because I did uh, RPG 10 before, I thought it was bad. So this wasn't so bad. But I can't see this. I can't see this open area or anything like that. But these guys shouldn't be here. These things should be right here, close to the uh, Power, uh, Power Wars Monument. And if you look all the other area, everything is separate, except that one right there. So as soon as I summon, just to see, just to watch, and I saw this in here, I was like, okay, so I could probably summon it all the way in the back and survive. But in the front, all this, we just, I was, it was done. I'm not gonna do it. So. It was this goddamn th same thing that it was actually happening here in in the um, sorry in the right here in the in this uh, uh, map for position three. If this ever happened, you're gonna need help from position one, position two, and p position uh, four to help you just survive uh, for three. Um, so we're actually gonna jump into this, and right here is what I want to show you. Look, I mean they're not right here. This is position three. They're not right here. But I try entering that map three times in a row and these guys are summoned right here automatically i mean they don't i mean when i when i enter the map unless something is lagging as soon as i enter the map i see them already damaging me and it takes quite a bit to just walk from here to here should give me enough time to actually um uh, like 10 seconds before i start seeing damage but i'm already seeing damage so anyway i move into position four just in case but i will report that as a bug just in case so i'm actually going to be shutting this down right here and i'm going to be drinking my drink and now I'm pretty much going to be starting this. So I'm actually going to put it on po position eight. Um, there's something I did here in the end. You probably did not see this. Um, again, I'm going to go back here. You see these uh, marked here, this green mark. Again, when I start in the map, I can't see anything in, in the map. I mean, if I go here and I think if I click it right here, I technically can't see anything that is above here. See, it's kind of like shadow and anything like that. I can only see this as a vision. So kick that off so in here what I did is I mark some of the angles because sometimes the layout that are the same has the same angle means they have the same um, area with the monsters already spawned so if for example if I start right here and I move up here I forgot to actually 
put it a uh, building here to see the angle, there should be one opposite. If I put one building here, see this angle, I put, it should be one opposite. And the same distance, the same length, almost the same, uh, means that there will be another spawn right there. So if I actually move over here, I technically the monsters were over here. So I should be putting this a little bit more further. So the distance will be the same on the top. Um, you see this angle right here, how it shows like a little curve and curve. Then this angle right here should have the same spawn. So if I put one here and I put one here, and this is short, uh, uh, this is short I already know there's going to be one in the corner. And then the same angle as I'm walking over here, I know there's going to be one close to this area right here. So these were actually... Um, I'm not gonna, I don't want to say mathematical or anything there, but I was actually calculating the distance of the next spawn. So that's why I actually put that over there. So uh, I'm going to start this at, at point 8 and then I'm going to move forward. Alright, so right here you see me actually summon about shamans. I'm actually counting uh, a couple of the shamans because I think I'm, I'm going to need to go with 5 or 6. Nope, 5. I'm going to put one here because again, I can't see anything. And if something bad happens, I can always backtrack to this area and survive. So then a little bit to the right, a little bit to the right, I'm moving, and I'm seeing that there's a monster over there. So I put one in this area because, again, if this Wind Reaver can't aggro that monster, the other uh, then the building will not aggro the monster. So I'm calculating the distance between aggro. So I know this is area I can actually aggro and then move forward. Then move everything back, and there it is. You don't have to worry about the tree or anything like that. You will have to worry about the Lost Soul, but again, you have the Shamans in the back just healing. So everything will pretty much become easy. There's another area right here, but I didn't. Cal I, I missed the calculation for that one. It's okay, no problem. I just bring everything back, and then you know I'll be able to actually finish this pretty easily. Moving forward for the next area, just finish everything up. Again, I can't see anything on the top. I will put a mark to the keeper here because I don't know if I, if I claim the well if they will start coming and such. Just to show you right here, I pause it. When I'm over here. I see that they this map is actually much different. Um, they have these um, Twilight Negator. Finally, I got the name. Um, they did not permit any spells. It's like spell bait, basically. They, you can't use spells and, and such. So they have that. They have the brains, and then they have four, uh, three trees. Uh, one of the uh, mana beast, um, an anti air unit, which is a lot disruptor. They hit very fast and very hard. Um, they have one tower, and they have a sky fallen, and they have. A lost soul over here on the map it seems a pretty good distance so it's not gonna, I'm gonna be able to aggro I've ever seen this right here yeah I wasn't able to even get to the other area so technically this is actually better done with someone else but uh, someone together or with ground units uh, trying to keep this up here or maybe you can just kite them into the marks of the keeper so because of what happened with the shadow Phoenix um, I decided that I'm not gonna go with shadow Phoenix I mean I can I can summon a couple more and finish this, but I'm not. I'm just not. I'm just going to do it again with the Wind Reaver, just to shoot your point. I will summon one, but I'm not going to summon like a bunch of them or anything like that. Um, this is going to be shut down with the Marks of the Keeper. And then one of the, one of the, it's going to keep coming up um, because of the, uh, right here, the Bowman's. And I have Shaman's healing as well, just in case he's trying to get destroyed by the Sky Fallen. So again, as you see, right now I couldn't do much with it. Uh, so I just went forward because again sometimes I can't control it when that brain is hitting me. But as you see, Wind Reaver and just one goddamn um, uh, Shadow Phoenix with Mata to keep it in the back to actually help you out. That actually wasn't what so hard, was it? So I am going to be uh, putting a march to the keeper just in case if I claim any of these wells, uh, if the other one comes. Again, I didn't know the distance of it. I just right now I told you the distance, but I didn't know the distance of it. But just in case, I wanted to see. So. Right there, I already summoned my Batario, and then I'm gonna claim all the wells, and then start uh, get some of the shrines and get incredible mo. I didn't, te I don't think I actually technically needed it because I t still get debuffed by some of the monsters in here. Like something that debuffs a debuff. <laughs> so right here, down here, I'm actually gonna be destroying these two marks of the keeper. Got shrine, got the uh, mo. I'm gonna use the ability, the last one. Again, if I wanted to, I could, I could have just went with wheels too, if I wanted to, but I didn't, I didn't go with wheels. Come down here, just destroy all this real quickly. Do not know why I use the ability, goddamn. Boom, boom, boom. Nothing there. Could go much quicker. Hit this up over here. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's nice. Now, by the way, by the way, some of these monsters do debuff you. 
meaning they're he's susceptible from to be buffed. So just make sure you have your equilibrium and regrowth to be able to finish these up. And here's just to give you an example, um, this is right here. Unit is incepted to all major buff for 50 seconds. And it, it, it by the way, I know you're gonna get fucking scared for this, but it ref, it re refreshes from the hits. So just keep the equilibrium, and you'll be good. Okay? See? You'll be all right. So then after that, you can actually use the the buff of Batario. Again, since you, I'm actually doing this alone. Let me take another drink. Mm. Since I'm actually doing this alone, <clears throat> I'm not just gonna go out there with one goddamn fucking Batario. I'm not that fucking stupid. There's gonna be more Batarios. <laughs> I mean, what's better than one awesome Batario? Two Batario. I mean, one is awesome. Just added it up. So, here it is. Oops, sorry. <laughs> here it is. I tried your Frenetic Assault, but they just died too quickly. What a waste of Frenetic Assault, by the way. Alright, so as you see, there's two here, one here. I already know the distance of this right here, and I already know the distance of this area of monsters. I told you, what's better than one Batario? I mean, some of them... I mean, you can't buff it still on this one. There it is, debuffed. So one debuff, get the other one to buff, right? Going with three Batario. Well, that was retarded. Let me actually keep... I'm sorry, let me fast forward it. That was a little bit too retarded. Two, three Batario, I think it's retarded. Let's, let's look, let's look. <laughs> yeah, I love... You hear it? The um, the sound of the no, you can't because I don't have I don't have sound for you guys to be able to hear it. the uh, the in game sounds. Um, the uh, Batario making this uh, sound when uh, they're walking. It's quite actually hilarious. First battle match, Batario versus the first. Oh. Oh, okay, that was stupid. So here comes the big match, big hard match. I let them come to me. That's all I have to do. See. The Twilight Infantator will kill um, some of the Batari if I don't heal them. But again, it, this is a little bit more harder than usual. So there's something that I need to do here. I need to actually get green green equilibrium for this to work better. Because again, well, blue and green. I, I, I don't want to go just with blue. Green as well. Still, um, it's a little bit hard to actually macromanage everything in here all at once. So one Batari did technically die. And... So the other one, but again, still have Batario to move forward. So as you already know, I'm not gonna stop just because I lost um, my other Batario. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it right here, and I'm gonna move with these Batario instead. I'm just gonna buff one of them, and I'm actually gonna pause it right here to see. Um, this guy's gonna get buffed. Um, these guys does not seem to be getting debuffed, and this one is getting debuffed. So that's the reason you can always have something behind. Attack unit can neither use range attack nor special ability for six seconds. F you. Really F on that. But again, I'm just going to use my other Batario to move forward because he'd already attacked. So he's still going to be able to use his ability. All right, here comes the other one. I'm going to make them come to me. Here comes Urzak. Urzak is coming in. One of the... Urzak is heading to the altar. So I one Batario did definitely die there, but no problem. Everything is clear. Let's just head to the next one anyway. And one of the things that you can have in this deck... And I was right. It, I was right. This you need this in the deck, especially if you're going slow, uh, solo. You do need um, to get uh, a, a offering and two of the other class. Class. Um, you need to get to uh, offering for your for your rifle cultist to be able to summon anything that's T4, and you need it for your tier three uh, spells because you have infect and you have other spells that are tier three for netting assault, and you will run out of charges if you don't use offering. So that's something. Unless, again, you go with a partner, then you don't have to look. Now I start using. But look, look, look what's happening here. You think I can't hit you? Just use unholy healer, a holy power on one of them, and then use their ability. And bye bye, Nixia. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. The next area, I want to pause it right here. Look at this. This is, this is the son of a bitch that you're gonna have trouble with. This right here is the son of a bitch. He's melee, so you have to get Batarios to start hitting hard. 
um, one of them without getting debuffed and uh, cannot get buffed or anything like that. And then you have to hit one of these guys and move forward so that these get destroyed easily, these lost mains. Otherwise, this guy's just going to literally F you up. So again, I kind of like kite him a little bit to the back. Revenge. Equilibrium. Move forward with all the Botarios. Did I did I make enough expression? Okay. Here comes the area. Botario versus one here. Oh, is it here? No. It's, I think it's already down here. There it is. That's the last hole. This is when you're actually going to lose a Batario 100% of the time. These areas will not allow you to cast spells, and these guys are just going to screw you. So here comes the next area. Um, we have this actually closer, which is nice. And then these guys. Oh, there's two. Never mind. Jesus Christ. So again, they're coming closer. Come in with your Batario. Start hitting. Start buffing one of them, and so on, so you can hit hard and then move forward. This guy's going to be the hardest one. Once he's, this get, goes up to, like, full... It's going to literally start hitting like a truck. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward this. And then the Batario is going to fight him. One of them should technically die. There it is. Probably another one might die. There it is. Two died because of that. But again, you're safe. You're still good. You still have four Batario left to go forward. One thing, I'm going to pause it again. Um, one of the things that I actually want to mention this is, again, when you have a group, you're going to have, like, you either are going to split up if you want to do it that way. Or you all going to go together, so you know you don't have to worry too much about the Batario. Just make sure that everybody goes ahead of you. <laughs> so I'm actually thinking about having the green Nether uh, Warp, so I can make Batario move in the back while, once, once he has his burn at maximum. So there, here comes it uh, over. Let me actually pause it. One of them should have died because of this, because of this right here. So I'm actually slow it down. So there it is, frenetic assault moving forward. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful. All right. Here comes the next one. Jesus. So, Frenetic Assault. Sorry, I did that so soon. Frenetic Assault. Revenge should be coming a little bit sooner or later. Um, this doesn't have anything big, so no big deal. This is just going to be face roll. You're just going to face roll through this. You just have one large Arch Fiend. It's no big deal, no big deal. No big deal. Very easy. There you go. Very easy. See, I put this and I move away. Here comes the last one. Revenge. Here he comes. Revenge. I think that's the revenge, right? Right there? There you go. Unholy hero. I should probably slow this down a bit. And that's it. That's, that's technically it. So then at the end, I started sending the Batario to a different area. As you see right now, each Batario are moving into a separate area. While all the... Um, Wind Reavers are being summoned if you look at right here all Wind Reavers are being summoned and I'm going all the area to make sure that I didn't you know have one of them missing but every area is completed it's 100% completed and that's it no, that's, that's the problem you can't finish it so guys I hope you enjoyed the video <clears throat> Uh, the Emmy Monument right here on the left side will be uh, uploaded, I think. I'm going to upload this while I render this in Vegas. Oh, hi there. Um, how you doing, man? How you doing? Uh, so, basically, uh, once the, everything else is done, I'll start uploading the video. If you guys want to actually do the map, uh, just go to um, the, the discussion. Go to LSS. Scroll all the way down, and then it's right here. One, one, two, and three. And if anybody wants to do this with me, I, 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 will, I will do it. This is actually goddamn fun to do these. And uh, have a wonderful day.